His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, where they discussed regional and global developments in the situation in Ukraine and issues of common interest. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's firm commitment to the principles of the United Nations Charter and the values of peace, tolerance, coexistence and mutual respect, stressing the need to adhere to these principles. His Majesty asserted that the Kingdom has participated in many diplomatic initiatives, provided humanitarian support and demonstrated its unwavering commitment to achieving lasting peace and security in Ukraine. His Majesty the King reiterated Bahrain's support of the international efforts aimed at resolving conflicts through peaceful means and dialogue to consolidate global peace and stability, adding that Bahrain will always back all initiatives and endeavours aimed at reaching a sustainable, peaceful solution in Ukraine. His Majesty stressed Bahrain's permanent position and commitment to maintaining peace and security in the world as the Kingdom actively contributed to humanitarian efforts and provided assistance when needed as a responsible member of the international community and will continue to participate in good diplomatic efforts and cooperation with the international community to promote peace, stability and prosperity in the world. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa visited a number of vital projects in the Southern Governorate, including Raffles Al Arain Palace, Bahrain, where, accompanied by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the General Manager. Marie Berger Chapoukan and the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of officials. His Majesty the King toured the hotel and its modern facilities, upscale tourist resorts and entertainment venues, and was briefed on the development stages of the project and hotel resort and the many and varied advanced services it offers. His Majesty expressed admiration with the design of the hotel and its facilities, which is considered a new and important addition to strengthen and develop the tourism sector, wishing the hotel staff continued success. His Majesty the King hailed the Kingdom's historical, civilizational, cultural, heritage and tourist monuments and landmarks that have qualified it to be an ideal destination for visitors and tourists and enhanced its prestigious position and presence on the regional, Arab and international tourism map. His Majesty noted Bahrain's qualitative successes and achievements in the tourism sector and its expansion in establishing and constructing many projects, facilities and tourist and hotel resorts which reflects Bahrain's attractive environment for investment in this vital and important sector to support the national economy. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain is moving forward in the path of construction, development and achievement to consolidate the success and progress of its march, enhance its competitiveness and achievements and preserve its gains.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, on the 27th anniversary of the founding of the National Guard. The cabinet noted the efficiency and readiness of the National Guard in performing their national duties. The candidate then congratulated the graduates of the Crown Prince International Scholarship Programme for the successes they have achieved in their careers in the public and private sectors, noting the continuous development the programme has witnessed over the course of its 25-year history. In anticipation of the upcoming Bahrain Diplomatic Day, observed annually on the 14th of January, the Cabinet noted the achievements made by Bahrain in the diplomatic field, which have strengthened the Kingdom's position globally and its role in enhancing stability in the region and internationally. The Cabinet congratulated Sheikh Dr Mohammed Sabah al Suba al Suba following his appointment as the Prime Minister of Kuwait by the Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Michal al Ahmed al Jaba al Suba, wishing him success in serving Kuwait and its people and contributing to its progress and prosperity. The Cabinet celebrated Bahrain's e passport, winning three gold awards and seven silver awards at the London Design Award, and commended the efforts of the Ministry of Interior and other agencies responsible for the passport project, which demonstrated a modern design and stringent security standards in this regard. The Cabinet encouraged the continuation of the Kingdom's digitalisation programmes to improve services provided by various ministries and government institutions. The Cabinet also expressed its condolences to the government and people of Japan for the victims of last week's earthquakes that struck several regions in the island nation and wish the injured a speedy recovery. The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the Industrial Investment Guide. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding several electronic services provided by the Information and E-Government Authority and the support mechanisms. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and the Ministry of Industry and Advanced Technology in the UAE. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs and the Government's response to four proposals and two laws submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the positive economic results achieved during celebrated Bahrain events, in which the Cabinet expressed its thanks and appreciation to all government agencies and sponsors from the private sector for the successful organisational efforts. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Health regarding the developments of the National Task Force for Communicable and Non-Communicable Diseases and the National Committee to Control Smoking and All Types of Tobacco and Its Products. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Education on the outcomes achieved following re-engineering the qualifications of validation process. A telephone call was held today between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the newly appointed Prime Minister of Kuwait Sheikh Dr Mohammed Sabah Al Salam Al Sabah. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain-Kuwait relations which are based on a strong foundation of historical ties and cooperation thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. During the call, His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Dr Mohammed Suba Al Salam Al Suba on his new appointment as Prime Minister, wishing him success in his duties to serve Kuwait and its citizens. They discussed ways to further bolster bilateral cooperation to achieve further progress and prosperity for both countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with His Highness Said Thiazin bin Haytham bin Tariq Al Said of Oman at Gadebia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing Bahrain-Oman strategic partnership, which remains strong, 
in line with the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of the Sultanate of Oman, His Majesty Haytham bin Tariq. His Royal Highness welcomed His Highness Said Yazin bin Haytham's visit to Bahrain and conveyed his greetings to His Majesty the Sultan of Oman. His Royal Highness emphasised the importance of furthering bilateral cooperation and coordination in parallel to the vision of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness commended Oman's cultural and developmental progress under the leadership of His Majesty the Sultan. His Royal Highness and His Highness discussed areas of common interest as well as regional and international issues. His Highness Said Thazin expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, noting His Royal Highness's commitment furthering Bahrain-Oman relations. His Highness concluded by wishing Bahrain a further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials attended the meeting, which took place in the sidelines of His Highness Sheikh of His Highness Asayid Thiazan's visit to Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Al Musalim, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah Al Salim, and the Deputies and Heads of the Committees at Gadebia Palace. His Royal Highness emphasised that the Kingdom's wide-ranging democratic development, initiated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, was set the stage for the new plans of development led by the unified national efforts of Team Bahrain. His Royal Highness underscored the government's commitment to enhancing coordination and collaboration with the legislative authority to ensure the successful implementation of development plans across various sectors. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of strengthening the executive legislative partnership to benefit the Kingdom and its people, noting that the Kingdom's collective achievements reflect the efforts and determination of Team Bahrain to serve both present and future generations. His Royal Highness highlighted Team Bahrain's commitment to success and excellence across all sectors, noting its importance in advancing national development efforts. His Royal Highness expressed pride in Team Bahrain's contributions to the Kingdom's development and the prosperity of its people. Um, Salam and Al Saleh expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's unwavering support of joint efforts between the executive and legislative authorities. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and several senior officials attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chief of Army Staff of Pakistan, General Asim Munir, at Gadebia Palace. The meeting was part of the General Munir's visit to Bahrain to attend the closing ceremony of the counter-terrorism exercise organised by the National Guard Special Operations Unit. 
His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the Bahrain-Pakistan relationship, affirming the importance of continued consolidate ties to benefit both countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness welcomed General Munir to Bahrain and noted Pakistan's vital role, along with other allies, in safeguarding peace and security in the region. General Munir conveyed the greetings of the President of Pakistan, Dr. Araf Alawi, and the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Anwar al haq Kaka, to His Royal Highness, as well as wishes for further progress and prosperity in the Kingdom. In return, His Royal Highness conveyed his greetings and well wishes to the President and Prime Minister of Pakistan and its people. He expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his commitment to furthering Bahrain-Pakistan relations, particularly in the military and defence cooperation, and wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thea bin Saga Al Nuwemi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of State for Trade Policy in the Department for Business and Trade in the UK, the Right Honourable Greg Hans, MP, at Gadebia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of the strategic partnership and long-standing ties between Bahrain and the UK, building upon a history of successful partnerships and mutual agreements across sectors. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to advance economic and investment cooperation between the two kingdoms to benefit both countries and achieve common goals. His Royal Highness welcomed the Minister and the accompanying delegation, highlighting the strength and ongoing progress of cooperation and coordination across various sectors. They discussed ways to enhance and develop bilateral cooperation, as well as regional and international issues during the meeting. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, and the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhru, also attended the meeting. In an international milestone that affirms the wise vision and directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain's e passport has won three gold awards and seven silver at London Design Awards. Interior Ministry Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, the NPRA, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, praised the instructions of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the support he provided to the issue of the electronic passport, according to modern designs and with state of the art security standards as part of the electronic recovery plan. Sheikh Hisham valued the role of the work team that succeeded in completing the national project within a remarkable time of only nine months. He also applauded the efforts of the HID company to present the passport in the best way. The passport showcases Bahrain's distinctive Arab characteristics, embodied in the image of an Arabian horse and a falcon. It is distinguished by its style, which tells stories from the history of Bahrain, as it is a centre for the pearl trade. It also displays recent achievements and the future vision of the Kingdom 2030. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, a chairman of the Board of Trustees, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi, praised the Institute's achievements during the implementation on its national strategy for the years 2020 to 2024. The Institute implemented various activities and competitions that benefited 29,740 participants, which contributed to raising the political awareness in the society in accordance with the high royal vision and national laws and legislation regulating the political process. BIPD launched 420 events and publications that benefited more than 34,000 participants over the past four years.
After another demanding day in the Dakar Rally, which again tested driving skills, navigation and mechanical endurance to the limit, Sebastian Loeb remains focused on the big picture, with Bahrain Raid Extreme. With Saudi Arabia's Yazid al Rashi installed as the new rally leader, and Loeb now placed ninth in a lineup of top challengers, separated by 25 minutes, the Frenchman knows his best is yet to come in the BRX Pro Drive Hunter. Loeb and Fabien Lacroix were among the pairings to suffer on today's 438 kilometer stage three from Aldo Adimi to Al Samir, with three punctures resulting in a big loss of time as Brazil's Lucas Mrares took the day's honors in a Toyota Hilux. The nine-time World Rally champion Loeb needs no reminding, however, that he won a record six successive stages in last year's Dakar, and there was still plenty of time to make up the lost ground before the finish in Yambu on the 19th of January. The rally's capacity for rapidly changing fortunes was highlighted today by five-time winner Nasa Ayatia, who looked set to take the stage before a late slide to fourth, but still continued his climb from 22nd to 5th overall in 48 hours.